So did you know that you can play Nintendo Wii U games like Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Apple Silicon Mac? So that's any Mac with an M1, M2 or M3 chip or any future Apple Silicon chip. And this is all possible thanks to a Wii U emulator called Simu. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the full installation tutorial on how to get this work on an Apple Silicon Mac, how to load up the title keys, how to load up ROMs, how to set up the graphics settings and how to get games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and other Wii U games working as well as possible on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the CMU website, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. And then I'm going to press the download button, which is going to scroll us down on the page here. And we can't download the Mac stable version. There is only a Windows version, which is available. In order to get the Mac version, we need to download the latest experimental version, which we're going to click on here. And it's going to take us to the GitHub page. And basically, whenever the main branch of CMU gets updated, then the GitHub action will automatically generate a version of CMU, which is the latest version. And the thing about experimental versions is that they might not be bug tested as much as mainline branches and you might experience bugs or regressions but what you can do is you can use previous versions of CMU as well which you can download here as well however we're going to be sticking with the latest version here so all we need to do is to expand this asset section and then we can see this mac os version here so this is a 64-bit intel build and we're going to click on this and then download the emulator so this is going to go into our downloads folder so we're going to minimize this and within our downloads folder and the finder we're going to double click on CMU mac os this is going to open up a a DMG folder and then we've got Simu here which we're going to drag and drop into applications. So now that's been dropped into the applications we're going to go to our applications folder and then we're going to scroll up or down until we find Simu. So Simu is here we're going to double click on this and if this gives us an error message don't worry about it we're going to hold down the control key on our keyboard and then click on Simu again then we're going to press open and it's going to bypass that error message. Here we're going to press open in order to open this manually so just wait for that window to come up and now basically we're going to go through the setup process. So first thing we can see here is the MLC path. So this is the root folder of the data. You don't have to change this, this is optional. Next up we have game path. So this is the location of your game ROMs. So the best way to get game ROMs is from extracting genuine Wii U discs from a jailbroken Wii U. So I'm not gonna be able to link to you where to get games from. They can also be downloaded from the internet. And basically what we wanna do is to click the browse button and then navigate to your list of games. So here, for example, I've got a bunch of Wii U games extracted here. For the most part, they're gonna have this WUX extension on the end. I'm gonna select the root of the folder and then press open and then this is going to be the game path that's going to load up Lastly, we're going to be looking at graphics packs. So we're going to be downloading graphics packs and these are basically improvements to various games. And these are basically community tweaks, hacks and fixes, which are pretty much essential if you want to get a good experience out of these games. So definitely recommend downloading these. They're going to apply to a whole bunch of games, including games like Tekken Tag Tournament and also Zelda The Breath of the Wild, which we're going to be looking at today. So what we're going to do now is to press the next button and then this is going to allow us to tweak our input settings. So I do highly recommend pairing a Bluetooth device. Just go to system settings, go to the Bluetooth menu so this is a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Each controller is going to be pairing slightly differently on a Mac. However, to put this into pairing mode, we just hold down this button here and then hold down the home button until this starts to flash. So you can see the LED here has started to flash here. And then on the Mac side, you can see here there is a DualSense wireless controller appearing under nearby devices. Press the connect button and this is now connected up. You can see here that the DualSense LED has turned a solid blue light. So that means it's all paired up and ready to go. So here within the emulator, we're gonna press configure input and we're gonna make sure that controller one has a profile. We're gonna be emulating a controller. Best to emulate the Wii U Pro controller. And then we're gonna select the controller. I'm gonna select here SDL controller and we'll be selecting the PS5 controller that we have paired. So this is gonna be a little bit different if you're using the Xbox controller, make sure that's turned on and paired or if you're using a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, make sure those are paired and you'll be able to select it here under the SDL controller. So I'm gonna select that, press add. And this has basically automatically configured the PS5 controller to basically bind all of the keys to the Wii U Pro controller. Now we can just close this and then press close. So here it's saying that this is an in-development build of Simu for macOS. This is experimental. So just be aware that there can be known issues, degraded performance due to Molten VK and Rosetta for our Macs. Press here, I understand. And now we can load up some games. So in order for games to actually load up, we need another component, a file called keys.txt. So we're gonna go to Finder and then we're gonna press the go button up here and then we're gonna hold down the option key. And that's gonna reveal this folder here called the library. So make sure to hold that option click on library. And then we need to go to application support, double click. And then we need to find our CMU folder. Double click on here. 
and then we need to double click on keys.txt. So the keys.txt contain the decryption information for disk files for all of the WDWX files for the ROMs which have been extracted from jailbroken Wii U's. Basically you need to either extract them from a jailbroken Wii U or you can find them online quite easily. Just type in Wii U keys.txt and you'll find plenty of entries. Basically you want to copy and paste the contents and then save them in the file here. It should look something like this. Then when you press the file button and then save and then that keys.txt file has been edited. Then we can go to our game window here and then we can right click on the blank space and then press refresh game list. So if the games aren't showing up what you can do is just close CMU and then reopen it and then now that the keys.txt has been installed correctly now we can load up games and then basically we're going to go ahead and load up a game. So we're going to load up Breath of the Wild. Just before that we're going to go into options again go to graphics packs and within graphics packs you can see all of the community graphics packs that we downloaded earlier and if we expand this we can see specific fixes for specific games and what's important here is that we change some graphics settings here which is specific to the Breath of the Wild. So here I'm going to change the resolution to 1080p and we're also going to add some fixes as well. So I'm going to use the enhancements and what we're going to do is expand mods and we're going to go to FPS plus plus and we're going to add this mod. We're going to set a 60 FPS limit. Under enhancements, we're going to set the clarity to Surfrost preset recommended. And basically, we're going to be using these specific enhancements. So the Surfrost preset, FPS plus plus, and then the graphics pack set at 1080p. So now that's ready, we're going to go ahead and launch the game. So as you can see, the Wii U game Zelda Breath of the Wild is working not too badly on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is on the base M3 chip with only 8 gigabytes of RAM. And we're getting a pretty decent 20 to 30 FPS in this game. Plenty of other Wii U games are also playable on the Apple Silicon Mac using this exact same emulator. Now, if you are interested in getting better performance on Zelda Breath of the Wild, then you might actually want to consider an alternative emulator as well called Ryujinx, which is the Nintendo Switch version. You might get slightly better performance using that if you're looking to play this specific game. I'll leave a link in the description for my Nintendo Switch Ryujinx emulation tutorial. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.